What do the prince, the horse mushroom and the field mushroom all have in common? This isn't a joke, they're all in the agaricus genus, which is the same genus as button mushrooms, portobello mushrooms and chestnut mushrooms. To know that you have an agaricus species of mushroom, look for the mushroom to have all of the following characteristics. Growing out of the ground, often in grassland, but some species in woodlands too and on the sides of paths and roads. A roundish cap, and the flesh of the caps and stems should be firm, fleshy and fibrous. There should be no sign of an egg sac at the base of the stem. The gills will be free of the stem and change colour with age. They'll start out when very young and off-white or pale pink colour, but soon discolour to a lovely pink colour, and soon after a chocolate brown colour, and at full maturity even a blackish brown colour. When very young there will be a veil covering the gills, which eventually detaches from the edges of the cap to form a skirt, though the skirt on some species can fall off or just become less obvious. Agaricus mushrooms all have fairly distinct smells. If it's an edible one, it will smell of either mushroom, almond, aniseed, or just a pleasantly sweet smell. If it's a toxic agaricus, then it will smell unpleasant, chemically, a bit like Indian ink or phenol. Once you're at the stage where you maybe don't know the exact species, but you are at least 100% sure that you have an agaricus mushroom, there are a couple of tests that you can perform to determine whether it's safe to eat or not. The first one I've already alluded to, smell. It should smell pleasant, not chemically. The second thing to check for is yellow staining when damaged. The toxic ones stain a bright chrome yellow when the flesh is damaged in some way, particularly at the base of the stem. A light yellowing coloration that happens slowly is okay. It's a bright yellow instant discoloring when the flesh is damaged, that is the warning sign. And it will be most obvious at the base of the stem. To reiterate, these tests only apply to mushrooms that you are 100% sure are in the agaricus genus.